Hi guys. Yes we are. And today we're filming a beer review of Oktoberfest beers because it's October. And we want to be in the spirit. Yes. <laughs> Literally. So we're just going to taste 10 different Oktoberfest beers and tell you how we like them. Um, it's, we're splitting the cans. Oh fuck. Uh, I got No, I got, I got one in my pocket. Okay. Um, yeah. So the first one we're having is Sam Adams, which is, uh, I won't lie, I've had before and I'm not a big fan. It's a seasonal Oktoberfest, hearty and smooth lager, 5.3% alcohol. And, uh, oh boy. Yeah. So we'll pour that up. Let's get to taste it. All right. So, like I said, I've had this one and I don't like it. That was shit. That, okay, it's I did. Gonna... Yeah. It's, it's uh, actually, it's better it's out of a bottle bad. than a can. Yeah. Because uh, I, I just tried it out of a can before, and that was what was really bad. But this is all right. It's got a little bit of hoppiness to it, but it's not overwhelming. That's yeah, this is sure. actually. This is not bad. It's pretty sweet. I just need the foam to like settle down. Just drink it. There's a lot of foam. I know. Give you a hard pour by accident. Yeah. I, I, I can do my pour. My microphone is chi Oh shit. Well, this is fine. At least we got that. Yeah, I, I think what I think this just either this shut off. All right, audio glitches aside, um, yeah, it's it's, it's a good not beer. A bad beer. I would give this Sam Adams out of a bottle. Oktoberfest, don't drink the can. Um, six and a half out of ten. That that's exactly what I was thinking. A six and a half. I think um, I'm hoping there's <sighs> stuff that's better than this to taste. So there is Iron Duke. It's super good. Good. Well, we gotta. Higher mark then. Yep. So, all right. Wait, are you done? No. <laughs> Not bad though. You finished. Mhm. Mm all right. So, we're gonna move on to a personal favorite of mine, which is uh, Red Prince. It's brewed. All of these are craft beers, except for Sam Adams. Um, this is a Meritzen Lager beer. Let's talk about that word, Meritzen. I believe it means from March, of March in German. And, uh, you know, it has the, the umlaut. March of the German? Well, no, it's because it means they made it in March and it oh. aged until October, and that's when they had Oktoberfest. So it's oh, a March style beer. Okay. But it has the A, it has the umlaut over the A, so that means it's pronounced like Märzen. But Americans pronounce it Marzen, and uh, some of the cans literally have Marzen on it, and it, like, makes puns out of it. So. I'm going to pronounce it right even when it fucks up the pun. <laughs> so this is a, a medicine <laughs> lager beer. Um, actually, the exact same, well, yeah, same as Oktoberfest, or Sam Adams, 5.3%. Um, it's brewed a couple towns over locally. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it's East Hampton, uh, Fort Hill Brewery. Mm -hmm. I almost worked there. Really? Yeah. So, give I, it a, I a good, good pour. <laughs> there you go, that feels about half. <laughs> I think it was a bit more. Oh. That's fine. More than half left or I less? You, you, I don't know. That don't know. seems like a pretty good split. So, smell. It smells it's like kind of like a can. I think it smells like metal because I, like, I just drank from a mm -hmm. glass bottle. So, yeah. It's not as carbonated, not as flavorful, and not as bitter. Yeah. I like hmm. this one more. I don't know. I kind of like that. I, I'm going to give this, like, a, what, that was a six and a half. I'm going to give this a five and a half. I'm going to give it a seven. Personally, don't like it as much as that Samuel Adams. 
that's for sure. <sighs> There's some like off taste I'm tasting, I think. I think it's because it was just in a can. I think all well, the rest are going to taste like that. That's why it's losing a point. Uh, 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 so what next, is? we have Jack's Abbey Craft Lagers Copper Legend Oktoberfest Lager. Um, never heard of this one. I just picked it up today. And uh, it's brewed with imported Pilsner, Vienna, and Munich malts, and imported Zeitz Family hops. Huh. De decoction mashed. Um, it says it's the perfect marriage of caramel, sweet toasty malts, and infinite drinkability. Oh, I'm excited for that. Naturally carbonated, 5.7% alcohol. That sounds good. Yeah. That sounds really good. Yeah. And they're family owned and operated. I'm excited. Now we're going up to eight ounces each. That is copper. Mm. I like that color a lot. It's got that nice fucking, uh, that smells good. My nose just stuffed up though. We didn't do it for the last one, but no. Wow. That's really nice. It's almost got a sweetness to it. Yeah. That's really good. That's good as fuck. It's getting like an eight and a half. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. I think I'm gonna settle uh, on an eight. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, seven and a half. It's a little too thick for me. I do like it. It's just, I don't know, how much beer did I actually just, I mean, I'm not chugging these, but this is already making me feel ill. A little bit. Like, I, this is like the, me. dude, this is like the sixth day in a row I've drank. Mm. <laughs> I think it's catching up with me. <laughs> Um, I'm just glad I didn't wake up hungover this morning. Yeah. I literally, I got home in just enough time to jump out of my car and puke in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I would make it, and I made it. <laughs> Cheers. Does it, what? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, did I say I rate this a seven? You said seven. Or you said seven and a half, I think. No, you did. No, I said eight and a half, and then I said eight. Oh, yeah, I did say seven and a half. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pause. And come back with, uh... A, a couple more beers in, yeah. like, a, a little bit. Yeah. Penis. <laughs> Penis. Penis. What okay, what was so that? I'm, wait, uh, I, I, that was a bad. Yeah, so if I'm that, talking that from the, like right here, is what, this good? What's, wait, what's happening? Oh, Something's oh, unplugging. Oh, oh. All right, we're we're back after that. Yeah. So we're gonna let's see. What is this? This is Hop and Fluker. Um, let's see. Festival style lager. Yes. Grown here. Brewed with hops and grown from on site at Four Star Farms. Uh, this is a German style festive beer. Tasting notes are softly bread malt aroma. Start, okay, let me. Soft bready malt aroma and round, balanced malt forward body. Uh, ingredients include Mount Rainier hops, Pilsner malt, Vienna malt. Munich malt, foam malt, and German German lager yeast. Wow. This is five percent by al uh, five percent alcohol by volume. Oh, I think that's the weakest one we have. Yeah. Cool. Let's open her up. Nice color. Mm-hmm. Very like almost an ambery. Yeah. Take. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Did not take half. Oh. Well. I <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, maybe you did, and I—I I don't know. 
I don't know. But, uh, it's not a fan of that smell, actually. Kind of smells fishy almost. <laughs> That's what, well, I think, that's what I think the, about here. <laughs> if only that was on screen. I knew it was going to be bitter. I said it was going to be bitter, and it is so fucking bitter. Nah, I'm not finishing that. No, that's no, nasty. That's, really bad. that's getting like a two. That's a zero. I don't, I, no, that's a zero for me. Okay. That, like, I don't ever want to drink that. I would never drink it again, even if I was an alcoholic and like I was... That was what you had. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that. That's, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, it's getting a one. Well getting a one next we have from the abandoned building brewery which is in northampton oh yeah uh their marzen style lager they wrote it wrong there should be an umlaut there merzen merzen but uh classic merzen style lager brewed with european pilsner music mu <laughs> munich and vienna malts lightly hopped with german hops Oh, I guess Ooh. abandoned building is in East Hampton. Um, so, <laughs> close well, enough. I think they, they ha I don't think, I don't know, I've been to, I don't know, I've been to one, and I feel like it was in Northampton. Maybe they brew it. I don't know. Hmm. What? That's dark. Ooh. Ooh that's orange. Yeah, that's real, that looks... There you go. I have high hopes for this now. Nice caramel color. Damn, that's a really nice caramel color. That's rich. That doesn't smell great, though. I realize I'm not pouring on camera. Yeah. Oops. Okay, you. Yeah, you definitely did take half. Oops. There's still a little bit left in there too. <laughs> Is your glass made of plastic or something? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, mine's yep. actually glass. It's like it's a double wall, so there's a layer of like of some sort of liquid that freezes the glass, keeps it colder longer. Oh, man, that's like that's. I feel betrayed. <laughs> it's uh, kind of like the last one. Yeah, not a, not quite as bad, but I give it a one. I'm gonna give it a three. Really, not great though. It's got a. Once you swallow it, there's like bitterness. Yeah. And it hits. Yep. Uh, that chip going to get drunk tonight. I think it would just be dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. So now the anticipated one. I hope this is as good as it was the first time. Um. So we got <laughs> Iron Duke Brewing. Oktoberfest, German style Märzen, 5.2% alcohol. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, um, oh, leaves are changing, the air is cool, Wiesen will soon be upon us. In honor of the world's largest beer festival, we bring you our rendition of a true German classic. Merz and beers are signal that fall festivals and warm campfires are here for months to come. Mm. This amber-reddish European-style lager has rich malt character and a smooth texture, coupled with American and German hops for mildly pleasant bitterness to remind us that fall is finally here. I hope, I hope that does exactly what it says it will. And like I said, I, I had this. More brown. I had this it's one close. time already, oh, and no, it, was it was really good. It's smooth as hell. Mm. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's, it's really good. Look there you that. go. Yeah, and it's got the same caramel color. Smell. I mean, it smells like Oktoberfest beer. I'm bad at measuring. Although mine's wider, I don't know. Yeah. I like that. Mm. It's different. Mm-hmm. <sighs> My stomach isn't in this though. <sighs> I'm gonna give that a seven. Me too. Uh, 
think that's right where it belongs. Is at seven, not uh, better than better than bad. Yeah, not my favorite. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why it was better the first time I had it, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have drank so much in the days leading up to this. It probably set me back. Probably helped, but probably or not helped. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more beers. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, so we're back, so we're not going to keep talking about it like yeah. private stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're back with uh, the last four beers. Uh, for this one, we have the People's Pint Oktoberfest. They're a restaurant and brewery near us. The People's Pint Oktoberfest is an authentic fest beer brewed with malt, hops, and lager yeast sourced from Germany. A true lager, this beer is cold fermented and conditioned for months to allow the natural slow ma- maturation of flavor. Prost. 6% alcohol by volume. Ooh, it smells like a shoe. That doesn't give me a lot of hope. Oh yeah. It's really dark. That's not very good. Look how good of a pour. There's just a very light layer of foam on top. No head? <laughs> what? I said no head because there's no head on the beer. Oh. Oh. It's the meme, kind of... like no head. No, I didn't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, it's not very good. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I might try and chug it anyway. I mean, I got two Sam Adams summer beers in the fridge for after this. Um, I'm thinking like a two. That's really sour. <sighs> yeah, I didn't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, that's like a no. one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a one. sneeze or burp i don't know what it was it was like all right we have um building eight brewing this is uh a marzen style lager was that right that wasn't right it doesn't matter um this is uh 5.9 percent alcohol (coughs) and some two million gallons of beer are poured each year at munich's oktoberfest celebration which began in 18 10 to commemorate Prince Ludwig's marriage to Princess Therese. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Therese. It's Therese. 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 Actually, yeah, Therese because it's German. It's Theresa. Theresa. Using all German ingredients, we brewed 450 gallons of this malty marzen style copper lager to celebrate the changing of the season in new england prost 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 let's see Hmm. i mean i know these are like aged for like six months but or five months but fuck Mm. They all kind of smell the same. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of the point. Yeah, how we're trying different variations, <laughs> essentially. The, same, the formula. Nope. Ooh, what the fuck? That's got like orange peel in it. Huh. I kind of like the citrusy, though. I don't like it. Mm-mm. It's a very powerful taste in your mouth, but like right at the end there, you get the hints of the orange of, of something like citrusy, probably orange. You're right, I think, and I that kind of like saves it at the end. But it's a it's a strong flavor at the beginning. I don't like that. I like lemon in my beer, but not orange. I'm gonna or at least whatever the fuck this is. I'm gonna I, give it a five. I'm giving it like a. A one. I, I just, Damn. I don't like that. Damn. Uh, 
I just don't have it in me to drink a bunch tonight. <laughs> Couldn't even get the second sip down. Now, uh -oh. <laughs> we, we have, um, I know this isn't pronounced Dorchester. It's is. Dorchester. I, I know it's not Duster either. Maybe it is. Dorchester. Dorchester. Dorchester <laughs> Brewing Co. Fest Beer Lager. <laughs> I am traditional, balanced, bright, malt complex, crisp, fresh local craft. Proudly brewed in Boston, Massachusetts. Do at Dorchester Brewing on Instagram and DorchesterBrewing.com. And uh, it says right here. Uh, it's just got the government warning, you know, according to the Surgeon General, <laughs> women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Uh, there's no other information on here. The alcohol percentage is 4.9. Yeah, this is the lightest one we got. Oh yeah, we had a five percent one or that that hoppin fluker. Mm -hmm. That's light, pale. <laughs> this one's real light. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, boy. That's like a pale IPA. All IPAs are pale. They're India pale ales. But these are like, that's real pale. Yeah, but... Okay, yeah, that is, yeah. That is very light. What just happened? Were we not recording? Oh, it's shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta... See, this wasn't... Is, listen to this. Well... We have to wait like 10 minutes for it to turn on, don't we? Well, first of all, we gotta see where that video ended. <laughs> I mean, if, if it got fucked, it got fucked. I don't know what, but yeah, we gotta. Dude, wait, where's your? Can we just do this with your phone? Yes. <laughs> oh wait. All right. So, um, I'm gonna sit here so the light doesn't fuck it up. Oh, will? Oh shit! The I don't know what. Can I? I might light. be able to turn that off. I think it's. I don't know. <laughs> this part of the video might be fucked. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this, this is what you got to just go fast. So my phone shut off. And my phone's at 19%. So we're going to try that um, Dorchester. Dorchester. No, that one's not bad. Uh, it goes down smooth. Give yeah. it a 6 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that a 7. Oh. Stomach. One left, right? Yeah. Last one, last one. <laughs> Let me just... I'm trying not to throw up. Yeah, you drink that really fast. I can't handle these. <laughs> I can't handle alcohol tonight. <sighs> this is bad. Don't chug the last one. Just take a sip. I'm not throwing up. I'm just kidding. Okay, I mean, if you had to throw up, at least it's on the grass. Yeah, I know. But... Uh, this is a BBC beer. It is a Life on Marsin Oktoberfest style beer, uh, or Oktoberfest, uh, and it's a lager. It is uh, six point eight percent alcohol by volume. Um, let me just we'll show that one off because why not? It looks it's got a pretty cool can. Uh, it's by the Berkshire Brewing Company. A traditional Marsin style lager. Brewed using German hops and yeast, Life on Marsin has an elegant and complex malt structure. Its otherworldly rich richness finishes with hints of spice and a subtle hop flavor, just enough to entice you to have another, wherever in the universe you may be. I don't even want to try this one. <laughs> I, feel, I feel really gross right now. Just... I'm gonna have like a take, yeah. sip it and then spit it back out. Yeah, get the cup. I'm gonna do that. Ooh, this has a very like 
a very cool color. It's super bitter. This one is? You've tried it? Yeah, I oh. don't like it. I really don't like it. It's really dark. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's real better. I'm not tasting it. Um, I just can't. I'm, just, I'm gonna give that a four. I'm giving it a, a negative thirty-seven. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> that's where this video ends. Yeah, Most we of these feel sick. <laughs> yeah. My stomach hurts from trying all those. I, I thought these would all be like really good. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them were terrible. Yeah. The only one I really liked is the Red Prince. I see, like I already like that one to begin with. Or those ciders are really good. Yeah. The uh, the nine pin cider. Yeah. We should have done ciders. We shouldn't have done Oktoberfest. We should have done fucking ciders. We can do both. Save ciders Upload for cider. next year. No, we can save ciders for November. So that's like Thanksgiving season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay high.